Hello children, how are you all? Welcome back. Yes, and today we are in the fourth day of discussion, the breach course, what had you studied in ninth standard and we are recalling, is it not? Yes, and have you completed your task, task sheets, whatever you have completed, if you have done it in the book, keep the book ready, have a pen in your hand, shall we start? Yes, what is there for today? Yes. Today, we will discuss about reported speech followed by letter writing and assessment sheet, okay, post test. If you were in school, yes, you would attempt this, right? You had a post test and a pre test as well and here you will have a post test for sure. Things ready? Book ready? Is it open? Huh? That is important. Yes, miss, we have book but if it is not open, what is it of use? Yes, and we will check for the task. Yes, we will see if what you have answered is correct and if it is wrong, you will make the necessary corrections. Okay, children. The first task was you are supposed to complete using appropriate answer. Let us check for the first one. The choice is not mentioned here and here goes the first one. Which one is correct? This year the weather is worse than last year. Okay. Next one. King Solomon was dash of the kings we have ever heard of. The wisest. King Solomon was the wisest. Okay, children. And the next task was, you are supposed to complete the story with active and passive voice. You are supposed to use the verbs given in brackets. Let us check. The police has just announced that the bank was robbed yesterday. Customers and bank clerks were asked to lie down on the floor and one of the bank clerks was made to fill the robber's bags with money. After that, the two men left the bank quickly. The police officer, Mr. Roberts says that more than rupees 20 lakh were stolen yesterday, but nobody was injured. Robert believes that the robbers will be found soon. The bank has been closed since yesterday. Some mistakes here and there. The verb form, fine. Make the necessary correction and submit a fair copy to your teacher. And today's discussion children. First one was, exactly, let us see the picture what it is. Is it not? You find a girl coming, there is a boy and look at his name. Sunil, fine. And what is it telling? Hey mom, what is she holding? And the mother is responding, she is holding a lamp in her hand. Okay. And go to the next one, you find Kareem here. And Kareem is talking something. What is he telling? Sunil asked his mother, what was she holding? Mother replied that she was holding a lamp in her hand. Okay, did you follow children? Look at the figure again. Now here, Sunil was talking to his mother. The action is in progress. Fine. You call this as exactly direct speech. Okay. And the next one, Kareem was reporting. Whatever was spoken by Sunil and mother, Kareem is reporting. Is it not? He is reporting this way. Sunil asked his mother, what was she holding? Mother replied that she was holding a lamp in her hand. Kareem is reporting, is it not? When somebody is reporting and then action is already passed, you call it as a reported speech. Okay. And look here, the girl seems to be tensed. Why? Vehicles going. And see, her friend is also coming. Huh? There are vehicles going. What is he ask? she asking? Smita, why are you tensed? Oh Priya, these vehicles are speeding. Okay. Yes. And Karim is again reporting the same thing. Look, Priya questioned Smita, why was she tensed? Okay. Smita exclaimed that those vehicles were speeding. Fine. So, we will come back to the figure again. And here the girl was tensed. And her friend is questioning and she is answering. You call this a direct speech. 
the action is in progress ok. There is a talk between the two whereas, this is the third person ok another person it is not Smita nor Priya another person is reporting the action that is already over that is past and we call that as indirect speech or a reported speech. Now, this is clear is it not then what is direct speech? What is direct speech? Very good when the statement is made directly by the speaker it is called direct speech look at the figure Mohan is running and he is telling I am running to catch the bus ok it is speeding is it not and look at the next one what is indirect speech there? When the statement of a person is repeated by someone else it is called indirect speech ok and look at the figure here Satish is reporting it to his friend what is he telling Mohan said that he was running to catch the bus is it not. So, the third person is reporting here and this is indirect speech and look at this example children Ram said to me ok comma open inverted comma I am coming here today ok and close the double inverted comma. What type of speech is this? Very good it is direct speech why? Yes when it is within inverted commas it is direct speech is it not and look at the next sentence Ram told me that he was coming there that day ok children and what type of speech is that? Very good this is reported speech or indirect speech why? There are changes and the changes I have noted it in a different color is it not and see the changes there instead of said to it is told and later instead of yes the comma and open inverted comma double inverted comma it is that first person I changes to he auxiliary verb am takes the past form was here becomes there today becomes that day is it not ok children now with this changes ok look at the next one the first part of the sentence you call it as reporting speech ok next you find you find a comma is it not and you also find open inverted comma both together you call it as connector do you notice yes and then the next part of the sentence where you have a subject auxiliary verb main verb adjective of position and adjective of time you call that as a reported speech and let us notice the example now look at this you know there are types of sentences what type of sentences you have affirmative yes interrogative exclamatory imperative ok to start with the affirmative sentence and here in the affirmative sentence there is said slash said to direct speech you find this words is it not it changes to told ok look at this example Sam said to Rita you are not allowed to enter my home hmm? noticing the change in different color fine and look at the reported form instead of said to it is told Sam told Rita and instead of comma and open inverted comma you write that ok then you becomes you becomes she are was past form ok not allowed to enter my house that is my home. So, instead of my yes his because Sam is a boy there Sam is a boy there. So, it becomes takes the form his and home stays notice the change affirmative sentence instead of said to you change it to told and the necessary changes go to the next one interrogative sentence interrogative sentence in direct speech if you find said or said to it changes to asked 
questioned ok. And uh, see I have noted there if the reporting verb is auxiliary verb ok we will use if or whether. Shall we check for an example? Yes children here you have an example. The teacher said to Mary do you speak English ok there is a question mark. Did you notice there is a question mark. See the reported form. The teacher asked Mary ok instead of said to asked or you can also write questioned ok. The teacher asked Mary do why do instead of do why have I written if children note this down see the direct speech the teacher said to Mary do you speak English if I was supposed to ask it to one of my student she would answer yes miss the answer is yes or she may say no miss yes when the answer is yes or no type ok then you will write if or whether and see the changes if she spoke English understand go to the next one ok same interrogative instead of said you add asked or questioned and if the reporting verb is a wh question now if the reporting verb is a wh question look at that example I said to her when do you do your homework question mark ok and see wh question when when do you do your homework let us check the reported form. I asked her or I questioned her when did do takes the past form very good did ok. When did she do her homework your takes the pronoun next pronoun second person pronoun it is her homework and you will not have a question mark very important children because we have noticed in classroom they also write the question mark for the reported form no it is only full stop you will not have inverted comma or a question mark understand yes there is a doubt in children when what whenever this is asked they tend to put a question mark no in reported form we do not ok children go to the next one the next type of sentence exclamatory and you have said or said to you will change it to exclaimed ok and see there is a hint again now for example somebody is saying ok said hooray and hooray is replaced with exclaimed with great joy exclaimed with joy or exclaimed with great joy look at an example he said hooray I won the match ok see the exclamatory mark after hooray I won the match ok how do I write it as good he exclaimed with great joy is it not yes he is very happy why is he happy he has won the match he exclaimed with great joy that he had won the match have changes to had ok I takes the second form of the pronoun that is he ok second person pronoun understand children ok if it is joy what if it is a different one check here you have one if it is allows ok then it is replaced with great sorrow or sorrow ok let us check an example she said allows my brother failed in the test ok and see the exclamatory mark after allows how will I write it yes she exclaimed with great sorrow she exclaimed with sorrow even that can go fine she exclaimed with great sorrow that her brother had failed in the test ok yes children and if the sentence is very good we always notice this is it not what a beautiful picture it is huh? how beautiful she is written do not we yes we express it in that way also ok check for an example they said what a beautiful picture you are drawing 
see the exclamatory mark do you and see the question it is wh question like what okay then i have to replace it with very good i have given you the hint there you will replace that with very or very great okay look at the reported form they exclaimed that he was drawing a very beautiful picture yes understanding yes instead of said exclaimed what we do not take the word question word what instead yes we take the connector we remove the connector huh, and add the very good it was already noted there is it not that conjunction is added they exclaimed that he was you are drawing it is he or she i am not mentioned any name there okay she or he was drawing a very beautiful picture if this is clear we will go to the next one it is imperative sentence imperative sentence if you see instead of said okay you replace it with order or request command or suggestion okay check for this example the teacher said to me shut the door happens in the classroom yes is it not now what is the reported form of this let's see the teacher ordered me to shut the door notice the changes children said instead of said it is ordered okay shut the door yes is caps there the reported form it is small letter and there is no inverted commas noting all this yes ordered me to shut the door yes children so with all this i think you have noticed all the changes is it not shall we recall once again okay say imported word change i have noted now you also noted down okay this changes to that very good these changes to those here changes to there okay next now now is the present form all the ones were in the present and it took the past forms is it not next now then sir instead of sir you will be using respectfully what if it is madam if it is madam as well you will be using respectfully do you need an example children and here goes an example they said sir the time is over then it will be written this way they said respectfully that the time was over okay be it sir or madam okay next children today changes to that day we had an example for that yesterday the previous day good tomorrow next day the next day or next day okay and if it is tonight that night if it is good morning children what will you replace it with greeted very good and if it is good evening same it is also a greeting greeted do you need an example for this is it take here it is she said good morning salim what is the reported form good she greeted salim go to the next one now what is the change in pronoun if it is i please note it down okay i he or she it depends on the gender okay next if it is we plural very good they if it is you hmm he she or they if it is a plural it is they if it is gender if it is a boy it is he or if it is a girl it is she instead of you okay next one if it is my very good his or her next if it is our it is there you are very good his or her if it is us it changes to them if it is me him or her if it is us it is theirs hey what is this all the pencils dancing huh what are they up to 
something to do, they are about to write, yes, it is letter writing, okay. You all love writing letters, to whom do you write letters? To Mary, hey, there is a letter here, written on Jan 20th, 2016. I have a few questions, you will answer me, okay, quickly. Now, the first question is, what type of letter is it? Don't know, miss. Yes, even I do not know. Then, to whom is it addressed? And, yes, is there any format? We do not see anything as such. Here, children, first of all, what is this letter writing? You have a small thing for you. Letter, letter writing is the heart of written communication. It is the process of expressing, informing, or pursuing through text. Okay. With this, let us check now what are the types of letters. Okay. Yes, children, you already are aware there are two types of letter formal letter and informal letter. What is a formal letter? Whom do you address it to? Very good. Formal letter it can be addressed to a teacher or a headmaster, principal, bank officials, government officials, then corporate officials, editor of newspapers and political authorities and many more to follow. Okay. Then if it is an informal letter, it is addressed to grandparents or parents, your siblings, okay, uncle or aunt, nephew or niece, friends. We love addressing it to friends, is it not? Yes, and also relatives. Next going to the format of a formal letter. Two address, what is this? All jumbled up. Shall we order them? And here it goes. First comes the address followed by the date. Next one is very good, two address. And look to the next one, salutation. Next, subject and body of the letter. Later you have subscription and you end it with your signature, is it? And this is the format for a formal letter and formal letter and you should imagine yourself to be Sherwin or Sharon, okay, studying in Oxford High School, Mandya and you have to write a letter to, yes, the editor, Times of India, Mandya, stating about the condition of roads in your area and here you have first according to the format it was from address then this is followed by date okay and next to the editor it was given you had to write a letter to the editor and you call this as to address what do you call that as respected sir respected madam dear sir sometimes okay you call that as salutation good and the next one is subject yes this is an official letter okay formal letter you have to mention the subject. So, the subject should be very short. Okay, children. Okay, you call this as subject and next is the body of the letter and let us read quickly what is it. With regard to the above subject, we the residents of Vijayapura, Mandya have a tough time moving around either on our own vehicle or a private vehicle. Why? The reason being the roads are very bad with potholes and drainage pipes leaking. We have got this to the notice of Municipal Corporation Mandya, but with no response. Kindly heed to our request by publishing it in the newspaper, so that the people, the press people will not come and repair. Ah, publish it in the newspaper. What will happen next? Yes, the repair works will start immediately. And for this, what is the supporting document? I am enclosing photos of the hardships we are facing okay and thanking you in anticipation this is also the body of the letter okay now i have to end it with yes children this is very important yours truly children i want you to note here yours okay S many of you tend to write why were you are apostrophe s yes. wrong and Sometimes you also write truly T in caps, wrong, okay. Why is caps yours truly? This is the way it should be written. Somebody is questioning me, ma'am, 
can I write yours affectionately? Very good, you can. You also can use yours obediently, yours sincerely. Okay, children, when? And this you call it as subscription. A new word to you? No? Very good, this is called as subscription. Followed by who is writing the letter? Their signature. You will end with writing your name in caps. You call that as signature. Was the format followed? Then what about the informal letter? Shall we organize it? Yes. And here it goes. You will start with the from address followed by date. Later you have salutation followed by body of the letter. And next you have got subscription and you will end the letter with your signature. You have to imagine yourself to be Sherwin or Sharon again studying in Oxford High School, Mandya. Write a letter to your friend describing about your studies during the lockdown period. This is called as from address followed by the date. Next, dear, this is the salutation. Dear Ethan, this is the salutation and here is the letter. Let us see how Sharon is enjoying. Shall we read? Yes. Hi, how are you? How are all at home? How are you spending your time during the period of lockdown? Are you also engaged with online classes? We have regular online classes here as well. The classes are in fact interesting. Right? She is enjoying. The only thing is we miss our friends. Oh God, yes, I find everyone raising your hands. Even we are missing our friends, ma'am. Why? Hmm, this girl is telling she was having a gala time, it seems. Yes, whenever the teacher was absent for the period, ah, they used to jump, enjoy the class, ah, enjoy the free period. Yes, and you are also doing that, right? No one is telling no. Yes, everybody are agreeing. And children, this is the body of the letter. Let's see what is she continuing. I am waiting to go back to class and attend the real classroom teaching. We can have face to face contact with our teachers and also can chat with our friends. You are all waiting. Even now you are chatting with your friends, don't you? Hey, no, you are not telling me no. Yes, always texting to your friends. You are chatting, Snapchat, WhatsApp chat, happening, but still face to face. That is more good than this. Well, pen me few more, few of your opinion about the lockdown period. How are you enjoying your classes? Waiting for your letter. Convey my wishes to all at home. See you. Bye for now. The note, which is very important, subscription. And here she is mentioned, your loving friend. Can you also write yours lovingly? Yes, sir, you can write. Is it not? But no apostrophe yes. Remember that. And L will be small letter. Okay. And next is her signature. Okay. And she's written her name in full letters as well. Okay. Yes, children. If you have followed this, henceforth you will follow the correct format of the letter, be it official or personal letter. Will you do it? Very good, children. And now I was talking about the post test. Very good. And where will you find the post test? Yes, you will find the post test and these other questions in the post test. Have a look at it. You have a crossword puzzle. You have clues across and down as well. Okay. And a few more questions to follow. Miss, you are running. I did not read it at all, miss. You have given match the following, question answer, complete. And lastly, you have ended with a letter writing as well. We did not note it down. I am not going to leave you. Where will you find this? Exactly. You will find it here on the DSERT website. And what is the link? And this will be your link. Your teachers will post it to the group. She would have formed a WhatsApp group, is it not? Yes. She will post it to your children and you will have all this. Okay. You will find the link there. You will download Okay, the assessment sheet and answer all that questions that it is the post test. Okay, promptly answer, submit it to the class teacher after downloading the link sent by the teacher. Okay, 
you need not hurry to copy this now you can do it your teacher will help you with this okay children did you enjoy the classes again the same thing stay safe stay cool okay and complete the assessment sheet thank you all children and this is me Ma anthony mary from government high school check pet anudina anukshana maneyellu kaliyona kalikeya hosa hadiyali jothe gudi hecheya hakona santasadi kaliyona namma hemmiyai classinali